Shook it up. Good morning, guys. It is Sunday, April 1st. It's Easter Sunday. It's April Fool's Day. I am on another low cycle because and I am one week. That's seven days. That's peak week out from my competition. Today I'm going to take you through a full day of eating. It is super depletion mode right now because it is peak week. I am starting off my day with a decaf coffee like I always do and I have been using this pip and nut almond milk. The reason I've changed up my milk is because this has zero carbs in it. It's like 1.7 grams of fat per 100 ml and like no carbs, 0.8 protein. So I'll be having some of that because my carbs are super low right now. I am in depletion mode and I'm trying to volumize my food and I'm not giving up my coffee for anything. And I'm, I do like a little bit of milk in my coffee. So as I said, it's Sunday. I woke up about 7.30. I do tend to wake up quite early when I am cutting. I don't know why that is. It's like my body just wants to be fed and it just wakes me up. I sleep quite well. I go to bed early and I always read before I go to bed. It's my way of relaxing. So I leave my phone downstairs. I don't bring phones. We don't have a TV in our bedroom. It is just pure relaxation before I go to bed. And that, I feel, helps me sleep really well. Now, normally I might only read a page or two of my book before I fall asleep and sometimes it can be a couple of chapters. The dogs are up, I just fed them. It's now nine o'clock. I got up and I did my hair and makeup to try and look half decent for this video because I knew I was going to record all day. As I said, it's Easter Sunday, so I've got an Easter egg for Lex and he is going to go and take his granddad out for Easter lunch with his mum and I am going to opt out because even though I like to eat out still and have a normal social life when I'm prepping, I do find it a little bit difficult, especially coming up to the last week or two. And I just want to be very exact with my macros and know where I'm at so I can increase them and decrease them where necessary and just follow the plan from my coach Will. So I'm just still waiting on him to send through my peak week macros. So he's just said to follow the same low day again today. So I think because we've depleted for the past two weeks, I think we're going to start building into the show day and start building up my carbs to try and fill me out a bit. I've been stuck at 110 pounds for the past couple of days. Now I'm not too worried because you know, it is peak week and it is what it is. I'm not gonna get stressed about my weight on the scales right now because I know I am looking really good. I'm probably looking the, the, the tightest and the best I've looked in any of my preps just because my legs have come in a little bit better. Although I still think there is room for improvement. Not, maybe not within this prep, but moving forward if I do another competition after this competition, I think that if I keep working with Will, we will be able to get my body in a little bit better and maybe with higher food because my food is extremely low right now. I don't know if I'll ever be 100% happy. Lex thinks I'll never be 100% happy with my physique. But personally, I feel like I will when I get to that point where I see it as I want to see it. I will be 100% happy. I'm not unhappy with the body I'm bringing into my show, but at the same time, um, I definitely feel that there is room for improvement in the future. And that's good, because then it just drives me forward. If I was completely 100% happy, I think that would hold back me progressing further and setting myself new goals. So here is my decaf coffee with 50 ml of the pip and nut almond milk. I got this one from Sainsbury's. I have on the side one of my protein cinnamon buns. They are super tasty and they have incredible macros. So that is why I'm going to enjoy that with my coffee. Cross bun toasting. I'm gonna to put some lemon curd on it for Lex. Making him a cup of tea. And he has chocolate orange Easter egg. Cause I don't like it and he does. <laughs> Because it's Easter. Did you see what the Easter money brought you? Yeah, 
Two Terry's chocolate orange bars with a large orange chocolate egg. Ooh, eggs orange. Yeah. Do you know where your Easter egg is? At BMW. Why? Because it's in the boot of my car. That was stupid. Well, I was supposed to have my car back by now. And they kept it. And I just realised yesterday. Worst bunny <laughs> ever. I did get you some other treats, but you can't have them. I can't have them. I just can't eat them. Okay, well, I'll get you a side treat then. Yay! Full box of the Malteser tasters, which is the best part of any celebration box going. Yeah, but where's the Malteser's egg? I, think I couldn't find it. I oh, went looking Because I only it. told you about it yesterday. I don't even know it doesn't exist in England. It does. That was a photo from a girl I follow on Instagram She's from Birmingham. She's a liar lady. She melted down Maltesers, teasers, and made her own egg. Like, they're your favourite thing from the celebrations box, not mine. You wanted a Maltesers egg? Yeah, I wanted the Maltesers egg. Maltesers. This is what happens when you marry someone who does everything last minute. No, I went looking for the egg. It didn't exist. When did you do it? Last night? No, I did it before. Don't lie, Lex. I'm telling you, it was a plain chocolate egg. And the all you got was either two Maltesers bars or bunnies. Even the big bunny egg was just plain chocolate egg. No, it wasn't. It was. I even opened one in the store to check. Don't lie. That was the big one, like that. You two were watching, you're lying. Because all you're going to get is comments. Go, go to Lex's Instagram now and go. tell him that go he's a lazy see. husband who didn't go and get his Easter egg on time. I've got your egg, it's in the boot of my car. Do you want to know what it is? No. It's too mad now. I got you your favourite thing in the world. Hot cross bun with lemon curd and a chocolate orange I got you an orange sized egg. egg. I got you an equally sized egg. Yeah, but I got mine weeks ago so that I'd get you what you wanted. You do realise my birthday is in 10 days. I do. You can't see me right now, but so I'm looking mad. really, really mad. <laughs> no! What? <laughs> Stop being a crank. Is this an April Fool's right now? These are great! They're your favourite thing! You want to have all these Egg! Egg! What's the difference? Egg! It's the same thing! A Maltese egg that you showed me is that so with bits in it. That's what it is, and that's the closest you can get. No, the closest you can get is getting the egg! <laughs> it wasn't there! Because he went yesterday, the day before Easter. No, there were loads of Maltese eggs. There was no egg with the bits in it, like you were talking about. They were all plain chocolate egg. Can't even eat it anymore. Hair is up. I have two coffees in my system, so I'm ready to go and hit up quads this may be my last leg session before the competition next week i'm not really sure normally i don't train legs or abs for the last seven days before competition just because i don't want to have any inflammation around the muscle and i usually just do upper body circuits just to get the blood pumping and flowing so today is quad day Everybody put them drinks up, put them up. There's some left, you better drink up. Drink, drink it on X. Oh, you wanna know why? Watch, cause we all gon' bounce. bounce. Now the sun gon' down. Don't say money, cause we go all out. Say money. I ain't on gon' fix. Hold it back, back, back it on. We all gon' bounce. bounce. Now the sun gon' down. Don't say money, cause we go say all money. out. Yeah, back it on X like a biggie. Big money, more problems, but I still make a milli. Nah, I get a milli out the bank, get spend it. it on the drink, get the shots, go ahead, get tips. tips. Keep your real roll back the seat. Hold tight when you ride with me. Hold tight. Watch out. Yeah, we might get off the street. Go from left to the right, hit the curb like. Never roll alone. Top down, heads out, bad bitch on the corner star. Why she over there? Pour the drinks, pour the drinks that don't stop. Make it fucking rain for the girls who don't drop. drop. Now we might just rage again. Get the shots and the Mary Jane. It's that stage oh again. Days. Cause we go all night and we just don't sleep. No life guard, but we're going in deep. Let me see them hands now. Where's my G's? And this shut down. You know me. She know me. I know you. I know we. Cause we all gon' bounce. Now the sun gone down. Don't say money cause we go all out. Say money. I ain't know I'm gon' flex. Pour it back, back, back it on. We all gon' bounce. Now the sun gone down. Don't say money cause we go all out. I ain't know I'm gon' flex. Pour it back, back, back it on. Next. 
so because I did that on an empty stomach I feel atrocious now I actually feel like I could puke because I actually did 20 minutes of hit training at the end I'm not really sure what my cardio targets are for this week but I'm gonna continue on like normal until I'm told otherwise I'm just waiting for my peak week macros to come through I'm kind of getting anxious now I'm just like just send them through please please but I'm gonna go home now and do a physique update for you guys a nice sweaty one and then I'm gonna make myself an egg white omelette for breakfast and the dogs have been left by themselves so hopefully they haven't destroyed the house I've done my posing, I've had a quick shower and changed into human clothes as I like to call them. I don't know if I have, oh, man. I want to make an omelette obviously but I usually put spinach in my omelette and I've no spinach left. So it will be a smoked salmon, mushroom, red onion and I'm going to put some of these bad boys in, capers I love them. and I'm going to add egg whites obviously some of the muscle food eat lean cheese which is like my savior and some of this light appetina and it's like a greek kind of feta cheese and it's really good in an egg white omelette so i'm gonna have that now i'll make it now how delicious does this look we've got the smoked salmon you can see the feta cheese that's just some fresh basil the egg whites and all the mushrooms and onions are in underneath and then i'm going to top it with some of this bad boy i've been getting through so many bottles of this in my prep i still weigh it and everything but it's just so good per 100 ml it's only 3.7 grams of carbs i'm probably going through about two bottles a week so we have 22 grams on my beautiful egg white omelette, which I'm going to eat now in probably about two seconds. Honestly, I devour my food. When I get it, I look forward to it so much that it's like gone in, in seconds, not even minutes, seconds. My food is just gone, demolished. But it does make me appreciate my meals and it does make me more inventive with my flavours and stuff because obviously I'm limited in what I can add in. So I just add in loads of flavour, like loads of pepper, loads of onion, garlic, um, not too much chilli because chilli can have a bit of an adverse effect on my tummy. So um, I won't go into details with that. I do add in a lot of, yes, yeah, stinky flavours. And the Blend Bros bottles, I am not in any way sponsored by Blend Bros, I just think they are awesome and you can get them at Asda. So. If you're looking for something to add to your food they also have a barbecue but definitely the sweet chili is my my go-to i love it yes i did demolish my breakfast in record time and now i'm having an oat milk cappuccino if you haven't tried this this is the oatly so it's like completely vegan and they have a barista blend i tried this 
when I was in Federal Bar Cafe, that's like my favorite place to go in Manchester for breakfast, and they use this Oatly Barista brand milk, and it's so good in coffee. I don't know what it is, it's just, just try it. I, I think I picked it up in Sainsbury's, and they don't have it in stock that often. So per 100 ml, it's three, three grams of fat and 6.5 grams of carbs. I'm gonna have about 50 ml in my coffee now, so that will be 1.5 grams of fat and 3.25 grams of carbs. Yum, 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 makes me happy. It tastes so good. Thank me later for that one. Afternoon snack, my cappuccino with my oat milk and a PhD bar. I'm going to be cutting out all polyols from tomorrow just to give my body the best chance to look its best. One of my go-to snacks while on low carb days are these 10 cal jellies. Now this is a new flavor and it tastes so good. I don't know how they do it. I've had the lemon cheesecake and I've had the key lime pie one. And this one, if you like Black Forest Gatto, it really does taste like it. I don't know how they do it. But like there's so limited in what's in it and it just helps quench like a sweet tooth. So in this there's less than 0.1 gram of fat, 0.2 grams of carbs. There's nothing in it. So it's just amazing. So I'm just gonna have a protein coffee and it's kind of like a frappuccino, but instead of obviously it being packed full of sugar and everything, it's packed full of protein. So in here I have 15 grams of chocolate protein powder. I've got 90 ml of the Pippa Nut almond drink and some ice cubes. And I'm gonna add a shot of coffee now and then just blitz it up and it'll be really tasty. End result, we have a yummy protein coffee. And this is just an easy way of getting extra protein in without having to have a shake if you don't like them. And obviously we've got coffee. This is like what I, always have in the summer even though it's due to snow today i just felt like i kind of wanted a cold drink and i wanted a coffee and i needed some protein i checked all the boxes one of my go-to afternoon snacks is one of the taste chicken fillets they are the perfect afternoon snack and it is 1.4 grams of fat one gram of carb and 8.6 grams of protein Per little fillet and I get them for muscle food. I like the spicy ones. So I've got dinner in the microwave. I'm literally just microwaving up leftovers from last night. I just made double portions. So I have some butternut squash, some Brussels sprouts, some asparagus, some smoked haddock, and then I've got one of the collie rice portions from Asda in the microwave as well. So they're just like a steam up little bag. And then I'm going to add in a laughing cow blue cheese triangle, some Parmesan cheese, just to add some flavor and add in a little bit of fat. And then I'm gonna just make it up all in a bowl, mush it all together and eat it. As you, as you can tell, I haven't had a lot to eat all day today. So after that, then I just have one small snack left to eat and I will probably just have a yogurt with some peanut butter on top to get my fats in. So here we have my big bowl of baby food, obviously topped with some of the blend bros and it doesn't look too appetizing, but believe me, this is a very, very satisfying food. As I said earlier, I got Lex one of these chocolate orange eggs for Easter and he doesn't want to eat it because he feels bad eating it in front of me. So I have pretty much tried to fit in one, now look how tiny it is, one of my little Reister bunnies from Lainey's Treat Jar. Yeah, it's jam-packed. You can't actually fit anything more in there. There's like hazelnut chocolates. There's like little bueno things. There's peanut lion bar, peanut Kit Kat. I like me some nuttiness, to be honest. And also I have some bounty bars as well, because I really like coconut. I'm not going to be able to eat it all. So don't worry, I'm not going to overdo it. I just want to have a selection of stuff to enjoy after my competition and on my birthday because my birthday is two days after the competition. And that is how I chose the competition that I am doing because there are a lot of competitions coming up, but I've been dieting before on my birthday and it's made me pretty miserable. So this year, 
I decided to just not be dieting for my birthday and be able to enjoy it. So I strategically chose my competition because it's two days before my birthday and I knew I'd be having a blowout after the competition. So why not coincide it with my birthday? If you've ever wondered how to choose a competition, that's how I did it this time. Now I'm going to have, before my Reister money, I'm going to have one of these yogurts. Now these are a new discovery. They're pretty much a vanilla quark yogurt and they're really high in protein. So per one of these, which are, how much are they? They're 150 grams. Yeah, 150 grams. It's 17 grams of protein. And there's only 5.4, 5.3 grams of 5.3 grams of carbs and 0 0.3 grams of fat. So fat free, low in carb, high in protein, and they're really tasty. But what I do is I top it with some of this, which is this cocoa sun crisp. To be honest, I think I I think I ordered this by accident from Sucrin because I thought I was ordering actual cocoa to cook with and I got this and it kind of tastes like cocoa pops but it has really good macros and it's really good for on top of a yogurt because it makes kind of like a crunch corner and then to get my fats in I'm going to have some of this meridian I think I'm allowed to have about 10 grams of this on top of my yogurt so it's just kind of making a little bit of a flexi yogurt treat for the evening and then having my tiny little Reister bunny they're like, they're literally bite size. But I'm gonna have this so that Lex will enjoy some of his chocolate orange. Here we have the end product. We have the yogurt with the cocoa crunch and the almond butter. My little whisper. Oh, I love you. So that is it, that is me done for the day with my macros. I hope you enjoyed this full day of eating. I have got my peak week macros through and my plan for the week, but I'm gonna continue filming throughout the week, little bits and bobs every day, and then I will update you guys throughout the week. So wish me luck, peak week is here. One week left to go. Make sure to hit the like button, comment down below if you have any questions or any encouragement you want to give to me cuz if i only had a hundred fans i take them out to dinner talk about the people that we used to be if i had a hundred fans i'd have all the parents